Hi, I'm Mark Bittman. And thanks to Signature Kitchen Suite, I'm here in California's Napa Valley, the wine capital of the United States. And I'm here to talk with one of the region's most prominent vintners, not only about his craft, but about his unique view of our relationship to the earth and what it means for his wines. Let's go chat with him now. Biodynamics is a system that many people consider a step beyond organic. I'm here with Jean-Charles Boisset, a vintner who uses biodynamics in all of his winemaking operations. He does it because he believes that biodynamics gives him the ability to make the best wines he possibly can. So when did you come here permanently? Your family was in the wine business. That's right. You grew up in Burgundy? I grew up in a tiny village, Vougeot, which is- Famous you, village, yeah. 180 inhabitants. You know everybody in the village. You would learn from multiple generations. And I love that feeling of having people taking you under their wings and showing you the way. Sounds so great. It really does. Yeah. I've been to Burgundy. I've been to Bordeaux. This doesn't look anything like either of them. And yet it's been the premier Yes. Wine producing region of the United States. What's so good about it? So I think what makes it so unique is the sense of terroir. That sense of place of that unique wine, you can only make it here. Nine miles from the Pacific Ocean, we get that gentle breeze, beautiful hillside and valley floor, and we get as well an amazing interaction and interrelationship between the soil, the plant, and the climate, which gives us the quintessential grapes, the best of the best. Lao Tzu, one of my favorite philosophers, says always, think about the source. The source here is amazing because it's six different soil out of 12 classified soil. There are 12 categories of soil yes. universally, worldwide. That's right. That's right. And you can find six of them Six here. of them here. What makes it so extraordinary is the fact that you find it in your glass. I want to talk a little bit about sustainability in general, organic production, and what you're yes. known best for, biodynamic production. Often we say in wine, 80% of a great wine is made in the vineyards. The vineyard defines your style. Putting all those pesticides and herbicides in the ground have obviously an influence in the grapes, and you find them in the grapes, consequently in your glass of wine. Right. So what is better in this world to treat and prevent anything which can happen in the vineyard with the plants surrounding the vineyards. And that has been our simple belief. You know, we need to leave nature alone. <laughs> she will ultimately do it better than us. So we're here to guide, we're here to accompany, but we're not here to direct. I'll even say when I think of biodynamics, there's a lot of woo-woo, yes. hocus pocus <laughs> stuff. Um, What's sensible about it? What does biodynamics really mean? So Mother Nature has a rhythm like we do, which is the interaction of the moon, the sun, and the earth. So we follow the lunar calendar and the Maria Thun calendar, which was a lady who defined the ultimate almanac for the farmer. We follow it very diligently of what we do in the vineyards and in the cellar. It's how the Indians, how our ancestors, and how the Europeans in the past used to function through solar and lunar energy. So this is why you never prune a vineyard when the moon goes up, because the moon pulls the energy up. You never even bottle a wine. You wait till the final resting time of the moon. It's obviously the next step. I find organic very basic. I find biodynamic the beginning of another journey which is so much more interesting, treating the vineyards with the plants, following the rhythm of Mother Nature and allowing yourself to let nature guide the ultimate results of what you're trying to produce. I know sometimes you harvest at night. What's that about? 
Well, the temperature in California is very hot during the day. As you transport the grapes, you don't want them to start to ferment. Night is fantastic because it's very cool. We harvest and we bring the grapes in the winery in a cool place. And as we start at 6 a.m., we start fermentation. So it's the best time actually to do it because of the coolness. It's a true respect of the grapes. I mean, I have to say, I've never seen more beautiful grapes. Thank you so do much. Do you show these to people? Absolutely. Well, in fact, it's called the theater of nature. So the first thing you see when you come to Raymond Vineyards is a two-acre theater of nature. So it's basically a whole journey through five acts, talking about the soil, the plant, the animals, organic and biodynamic, and then the vineyards. We take people through this wonderful walk where they can visualize what we do. And then it gives them a lot of ideas about why composting, or why bees, or why organic. So, the soil, the climate, the grapes, the stock, the harvesting, the bottling. The last step is kind of up to us, the people who drink the wine, and that is how do we store it? Because you don't just go buy a bottle of wine and drink it immediately, most of us buy a certain amount of wine and we keep it. And I'm what's glad the, to hear. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best way to do that? So very fortunately here in California, we've restored the insane cellars of Buena Vista, the first, 1857. What is attractive there is the fact that first gravity flow building, the first three caves dug according to European tradition. And those caves are perfect temperature, perfect humidity. And if you compare a temperature control warehouse versus natural cave, natural caves are obviously better. If you don't have that, it's still okay. But as you get it at your house, one, you protect it against ultraviolet. Wine does not like light. Mm -hmm. Number two, you want a consistent temperature. Wine hates variation and humidity level. The cork, which typically finishes the wine, needs to feel a certain humidity around. So, over 65% humidity is important. Yeah. And you know, my mother used to have me do something which was very interesting when I was younger. She says, bring the bottle in the living room four hours before we drink them. And I said, why? Why needs to feel comfortable? Mm -hmm. Needs to be at the temperature <laughs> of the room. I love it. And to feel comfortable in that environment. So I have to say, so educational, so beautiful. Thank you. So much fun. The most beautiful grapes I've ever seen in my <laughs> You're life. Very the kind. colors. Thank you. Oh my god. And I really feel like I've made a friend. So salty to friendship and to many visits together. Agreed. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Take care. <laughs>